Hello everyone, today we're doing a Neo Geo bypass video for USB host. Many of you have been having frustration and difficulty attempting to get Neo Geo to run on USB host. Today I'm going to show you how I do it personally, my own personal method. We have the BIOS splash screen on my first test game here and it succeeded. Who doesn't love a good wrestling game? I've been a tremendous fan of wrestling games ever since they've ever been introduced on consoles way back in the old days and even a fan of WWF back in the day and WWE nowadays of course nothing beats the old days of Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant though, them were the days So this is the recount bout, pretty cool wrestling game. Uh, we're going to do a couple more test games, and I'm going to show you exactly how I achieved this result running Neo Geo on USB host. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, let's play a little bit of a brawler style game that's similar to Final Fight. I remember playing this in the arcade back in the day. Bio screen, we're good to go. Mm, looks a hell of a lot like Jackie Chan. And I've never owned the Neo Geo originally because <laughs> the system was around $800 if I remember correctly and the games were roughly $200 US dollars each. I've always been a fan of beat em up brawlers too. I'm gonna have to do a few of those for my next arcade series. When I played this in the arcade, I liked it because it had uh, semi destructible environments where you could go up and destroy various things. Kind of like the bonus stages in Street Fighter. Okay, that's our second test game. We're good to go on that. I'll do one more test game. That's Burn and Fight. Uh, this game here is pretty interesting because it's a, a, 3D, a 3D style game, Crossed Swords. And I, as I said, I do prefer running uh, MAME 2003 for most Neo Geo games. The secondary arcade core I like to use is Final Burn Alpha 2016. This music I almost expect to be in a Capcom game like Willow. So it's almost like a medieval punch out game, kind of cool. So this is Cross Swords. We'll do one more test game, then I'm gonna switch over to the computer and show you guys how to do this. Looking through some of the other Neo Geo, game, Neo Geo games we have here. Magician Lord is a really incredibly hard game. It's similar to uh, Mystic Defender on the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. If I did this in my arcade series, I'd, I can almost guarantee it'd take me $20 to beat this. Starts out easy enough, but it gets just incredibly hard as you go through the game. When I was looking at games on the shelf, when I couldn't really buy a Neo Geo, this is one of the games that really stood out to me. Like, I really want to play this, and I was glad that uh, Mystic Defender came out on Sega Genesis because it did remind me of this quite a bit. I mean, it, look at that. Dead that quick. It's a hard game. I'd, it's even harder than Ghosts and Goblins. And the last test is now 1975. And we're doing the uh, actual physical uh, part of doing a Neo Geo um, USB host. 
with the compatibility updates, you can now run games like Sengoku 3, Ironclad, and of course Metal Slug 4 on May 2003. And I've always liked this genre of game too, the Dynamite Duke Operation Wolf style gameplay. Fun stuff. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, I'm going to open up Hashi, and I'm using the Dandaman Link version. These are the games that I added right here. Right now I have my settings. I have compressed games when added and disabled for right now, so the special characters will be removed when I add the games. Of course, when you add arcade games, they're going to add as archives anyway. Then I have my folders off for now. Pages, folder structure, I have them disabled for now. Now we're going to go in and we're going to fix the Neo Geo game so they run. So we're going to take, uh, I have the games in this folder right here. I'm going to delete these for now. And I'm going to take from my backup folder the games that aren't set to run yet. My Neo Geo Bypass, I made a folder just with the games. And I'm going to put them right into this folder. Now roughly what you're going to want to do is there's a few different ways you can do Neo Geo. On the old setup with non-USB host it was simple. All you had to do is install the pertinent core, which would be in this case MAME 2003. And then you'd have to install the BIOS for it, which would be the MAME 2003 BIOS required. There's a, a couple other ways you can do this as well. I'll give you an example. I'm going to my games folder. Here I have Cross Sword. I'm going into my core set. The last one I did was 1.6 to my Neo Geo BIOS. Right here. I have the new version, which would be for Final Burn Alpha 2012, Final Burn Alpha 2016, MAME 2010, MAME 2014. Then I have the old version, which only works on MAME 2003. Then a UniBIOS version, which only works on the Final Burn Alpha cores. So, since I'm running MAME 2003, we're looking at the old BIOS here. And typically, on the old setup, you could just do this. Go into the directory. And this is uh, given that you do not install the HMOD 4 BIOS. If I didn't have the HMOD installed, I could just copy it and sync it right over and it'll work. But on USB host, these BIOS tend to get deleted when you sync the games and power it on. You'll find the games don't run, you'll power back on and find this BIOS gone. So we're going to do this a different way that is absolutely foolproof. So just watch this real briefly. I'm going to extract this to a Neo Geo folder. I'm going to go into this folder here. And all I'm going to do is just simply drag these files right onto the Neo Geo file. So it's going to rebuild it. Now it's going to have the BIOS embedded within it. They're merged into one single working entity. It's the game along with the BIOS in one single zip and they cannot be deleted. So I got one done and I literally just go through my games one by one and I'll do the same thing. And they're all in there. And obviously you need to know which games are Neo Geo. That's not too difficult to figure out though. So they're all in there. So you just go down through your Neo Geo games and just drag the BIOS right inside the zip. Cyberlip. Now let's say I'm completely done right now. 
And I already did do this because I was running my games folder. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, completely overwrite these files because I've already done this. Just so I could show you the flashing process one more time. I'm going to let these all overwrite real quick. And then I'm going to do the flashing process to show you how that works one more time. So I'm going to my folder, Hashi Games. And I'm just going to copy a few random games there real quick. Now that we have this set up, I have all the games I want to put over. I'm going to use the sh left shift just to be able to click them all. Like that. And I'm going to hold left shift as I sync them. And this is going to give me the choice to browse for the folder. And this is very important. You need to remember this because a few people have made a little bit of a boo-boo mistake with this. I'm going to USB host. Hashi game folder. It's going to give me a choice of linking them. It'll do symbolic links and just copy the desktop files and it's going to read the rest of the files from the Dandaman thing, which will be right here. It'll read right from this directory. But if you use this linked method, you have to have the Hashi on the same drive that you're running the games through. So obviously if you copy this to your computer and you try linking the games onto your flash drive, it is not going to work. But if you want to if you want to do it the other way, where you just let them copy over, click no, it'll copy them over to where you need them to go. So anyways, I'm going to click uh, make link games. It's going to find that that directory can currently contains contents. I have files in there. If I click yes, it's going to permanently delete all the files in that directory so this is very very destructive if you're not paying attention to where you're placing the files so don't point it to your uh, desktop on your computer by accident don't do that so i'm going to let it do this now all the files are linked over we're going to go into that directory real quick see it just has the desktop files the actual Neo Geo zip files are all contained within the Dandaman directory, which is right here. They're all within the, these directories. So that's it. You just have to take, again, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm taking these Neo Geo extracted old bios here and just taking them right onto the cross sword zip and just letting them override just like that. So by having the Neo Geo files out that way within the directory, you're okay. If I copy the zip like this, there's a chance it will delete and then you won't be able to run your Neo Geo games. And I wouldn't even worry about installing the HMOD for this. Just uh, do it like this for now. Or you could do the dummy method, which if you watched the very beginning of my Double Dragon video, the dummy method is this real quick. I'm going into my backup folder. my dummy folder and I'm just gonna put that into this directory so if you basically load RetroArch as a core and you can do that this way let's do that real fast go into my core set yet again Clover app for SNES. I'm just going to add that and leave it alone. So now it's going to be a game and I can open up any core just by loading core and then load the game by loading content, start directory, go into my dummy folder, then my main folder. 